Hello friends, it's time for another Lamley Showcase. We're going to go back in time this time, nothing new. Nine years ago, Hot Wheels had a line called Drag Strip Demons, a largely overlooked line that's making a bit of a comeback, so I'm going to dig into some older models and I'm going to open them up, show them off for you. Now, if you're on Instagram and you're, avid, you're an avid Hot Wheels follower on Instagram um, and some other places, you'll notice there's been a bit of a... Um, a bit of a surge in popularity of gassers. Now, the 55 gasser <clears throat> is a very popular model. The Nova, I've seen the um, Mercury Cyclone. These castings that Hot Wheels has done, and that's bled over into some of these drag, drag strip demons cars. But it should be known, these cars that we're showing, at least today, are not gassers. These are A slash FX cars. Um, FX means factory experimental. It basically means that the car makers could take their cars that they're using and they could fool around with them a little bit, put a bigger engine in them, um, alter the, uh, alter the, um, chassis, making the width a little bit differently and you know, put the position, of the wheels a little bit different. Anyway, I'm not a super knowledgeable guy, but I do know that these cars, you know, with their unique stance and definite some american nostalgia in them that these have become um some interesting cars that people are very interested in drag strip demons was a premium line that hot wheels did where they were very true to um the decos and the racing liveries on these cars and really paid homage to an era of funny cars and um other types of drag strip cars now i've got several i'm just gonna i'm gonna focus on the AFX cars today, um, but there are, you know, plenty of others from this series. I don't have all, but I have a few. Um, here's one of the, uh, this is a Dodge Challenger, um, Corvette, funny car, um, Thunderbolt, Ford Thunderbolt, and then even uh, some of these dragsters, some of these unique dragsters. I mean, Hot Wheels went all out on these and made some great models, but uh, they were kind of, I mean, there were some people that were into the drag scene, some collectors that loved these, but these hung on the pegs for a long time. It's nice to see a bit of a resurgence on these, and we're going to rip these open, so it's going to be kind of fun to do. Um, we're going to start over here. Now, I'm going to write these up too and put them on lamleygroup.com, photograph them and the like. Um, there is history... Now, I believe that's just a general history. They're not they're not doing anything specific. Um I'm trying to look. Let's see. Yeah, so it's the same thing on these cards. But um, you know, talking about this era of these drag racers. So we are going to start with the Wilshire Shaker Match Bash Nova. There I think are one or two other versions of this casting. I don't have them. There, this is coming out of, that's a, uh, breathe it in, breathe it in, that's a, uh, that's 10 year old air right there. Hmm, 2008. Okay, we're going to put the card in here. Going to go ahead and get rid of the blisters and stuff. Toss those. And here you go. Chevy Nova, notice the wheels, the uh, wheelbase is so odd. These are very unique looking cars. I'm going to try and find the best play, the way to show them off. And I'll put them, obviously, in our little showcase here. Move them up. Metal chassis. Die cast chassis. Not bad. Just, just, just kind of scrunched together. It's fun to open these. It's been a while since uh, I've looked at these. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on to the, um, to the Coronets, the 65 Dodge Coronet. And again, Hot Wheels has done some Coronet castings. We're going to move out. I think, like, again, it's, people will mistake these for gassers, at least those of us who are Hot Wheels collectors just because of the stance on them. But uh, again, they are not. They're AFX cars. Coronet was my, is my favorite from the drag, st drag Strip Demon series. We've never seen this casting used again. Maybe this resurgence in interest in these kind of cars. 
might bring this casting back. We see it as an RLC or a convention, maybe just in the main line, something. Or maybe there could be a drag-themed car culture series. What do you think of that? There's plenty of cars to do it in, right? All right, let's go ahead. This is based on a real livery, Dick Landy's car. In fact, I was able to locate, if you just if you look, you can see that these cars exist. If you just Google them, um, that these cars do exist. I couldn't find one on the screen when we'll get to, but uh, Dick Landy's is definitely a real car. You can find pictures of it. Um, online on just google it all right these are great i'm just going to move this up real quick so you can take a look at it just look at that long just stretchy rear end on this thing go ahead and move back a little bit get some more light here for you and then that just fantastic stance these things are so cool and it's really neat to see a lot of people kind of getting into these again tons of detail Front, rear, top. You can see here. I'm sorry. I just keep picking it up. But you can see there. Landy's Dodge. Looks like the thing wants to move the other way. Just really cool. So now while that is going. Let's go ahead and go to Dave Strickler's 65 Coronet. Again, also a real car. Wheels are very similar. Hot Wheels was as true as they could be with these. Just look at the just look it up. And like I said, I will put these on the blog and I will show pictures of the real thing too. Okay. Oh. More ten year old air. Sometimes they're really easy to open, they just pop off, other times they're not. You guys can pick which one you like the best. Same casting. Just move in right there. How does that look? Kind of a cream pearl color. Heavy, heavy, heavy too. I'll move this one right over here. Again, lots of detail on this one. That nose just sticking out there. See the detail there right there on the National Drag Racing Champion Dodge. Okay. Next one, Coronet once again. This time we're going with the uh, 65 AWB stacked deck. I looked this one. I couldn't find it. Maybe this is a... I'm sure it's a, a based on a real racing livery. How about those wheels on this one? Okay, this one's really... I guess it's the same as the uh, Landy's Dodge, but just done in chrome. By the way, before they decided that would be the Treasure Hunt logo, it was just a Hot Wheels logo. So, in case you were wondering if you were seeing that on the uh, card, that's why. Just It was just a general Hot Wheels logo. Before they decided to decided it was the Treasure Hunt logo. Okay, plastic. Once again, there's a ton of detail. This one has Goodyear on the tires, if you've noticed. The other ones did not. So this one gets the, uh, and maybe that's why you don't see the tail lights on this one because they maybe put those fraction of the pennies into the Goodyear Tampo on the tires. Not bad. All right, one more. The last 65 Dodge Coronet. A slash FX, AFX car, the honker. Also based on a real car. Let's open that one up. 
This one I saved best for last because I just, I like this one the best. Mismatched wheels. Red, white with the, yep, that's a uh, little bird on there. Honk. All right, take a look at that one. These are the drag strip, drag strip demons. Hard to say, somewhat hard to collect, easy to like. I think these are going to become harder and harder, but I think they're worth it. And if you're into cars, you know, especially if we you know with Hot Wheels doing a lot of neat European racing cars and Japanese racing cars. It's cool to go back to some of these eras. They did the Trans Am era with the vintage racing. These are these great drag era cars, and just it's just fun to collect them. You know, in fact, hold on. Just take a look at that for a second. So, you know, there's a lot of talk about you know, we all know about this one. That was from the Vintage Racing Series. So before it got super popular, you know, that was just a cool vintage racing car. As was, I'm, you know, talking about the Breed Dotson. And then, of course, from the Trans Anim era, they had, you know, Camaros, Mustangs, Dodge Challengers. And this is one of those from the Vintage Racing Series as well. It's just cool to have these cars and you start putting them together with an AFX car and then gassers and the whole nine and you start creating a fantastic just fun to collect collection so it's fun to go back and look at these I'm what had I've had fun doing this I'm going to photograph them maybe I'll put them together with some of these other vintage racing cars hope you enjoyed it talk to you later bye <laughs>